Let's talk about the movie Tarzan Escapes. This film from 1936 is packed with funny, shocking, and sad facts, so keep watching for those. Did you know there are some lesser known facts and anecdotes about this movie that might fascinate you? Keep an eye out for those. One classic Hollywood actor in this movie was Johnny Weissmuller, who played Tarzan. He's a fan favorite for many, but who was your favorite? What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Tarzan Escapes is more than just a movie. It's an experience worth sharing. So don't hesitate to join the conversation. In a classic jungle adventure film from 1936, there's a mix of exciting moments and some parts that might leave you wanting more. The story is all about Jane's family inheritance, which leads her relatives into the jungle. But they run into trouble with a hunter who's after something else. The movie uses a lot of old footage from earlier Tarzan films, which kind of takes away from the newness of the story. The movie starts off a bit slow, feeling like a repeat of what we've seen before. But things pick up towards the end when Tarzan gets into some real danger. That's when the action ticks in, making things more interesting. Even though the movie has its flaws, the connection between Tarzan and Jane is really touching and keeps you engaged. The actors who play Tarzan and Jane really bring their characters to life, making them more than just words on a page. And the famous treehouse they live in adds a magical touch to the story, making it feel less like real life and more like a fantasy. While the movie might test your patience at times, if you stick with it, you'll find some exciting moments and heartfelt scenes towards the end. And it's Tarzan and Jane's Bond that keeps fans coming back for more, even with the movie's faults. In the movie, the Heyman tribesmen seen in close-up shots were portrayed by Maasai actors. Sadly, actor John Buckler, who played Captain John Fry, passed away in a car accident a week before the film's release, never witnessing his performance. Johnny Weissmuller, known for his iconic Tarzan call, developed it from an extended yodel he mastered as a child. These elements contribute to the film's unique authenticity and historical significance. In encountering the Heyman chief, Captain Fry responds to the chief's greeting Jambo with Jambo-sama, incorrectly. The accurate response would be Jambo-sana or simply Hugh Jambo. Maureen O'Sullivan is commemorated with an audio animatronic figure in the great movie ride within the Tarzan scene at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Following the ride's closure in 2017, her figure was relocated to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, donning different attire. Johnny Weissmuller, upon his request, had his iconic Tarzan yell played as his coffin was laid to rest. Footage of the Murchison Falls in Africa, originally shot for another film, found its way into the scenes. During filming, Maureen O'Sullivan expressed her dislike for working with the chimpanzee cheetah. She privately referred to the primate in derogatory terms, according to her daughter Mia Farrow. The film underwent significant changes, including a switch in directors from James C. McKay to John Farrow. John practically reshot the entire movie. Alongside this change, various alterations occurred in the cast and crew. For instance, Granville Bates was removed from the cast, while Herbert Munden joined as a new character. Other replacements included Darby Jones taking over the role of Bamba, and several crew members being substituted for different positions. The main character makes his appearance 23 minutes into the feature, which coincidentally matches the timing from the previous installment. By the third film, the couple's treehouse has evolved into a Swiss family Robinson-like home with modern amenities like running water and an elephant-operated elevator. Additionally, elephants wear prosthetic ears to appear more African, with rubber tusks that give way upon contact. In the early days of filming Tarzan movies, Johnny Weismuller faced a surprising challenge. When he first met a chimpanzee on set, it seemed ready to attack. But Weismuller handled it confidently, showing no fear and asserting his dominance. After that, the chimp became like a loyal friend to him throughout the movies. Weismuller's Tarzan yell also helped him in an unexpected situation. Once, when he was close to Fidel Castro's soldiers in Cuba, he let out his distinctive yell. The soldiers recognized the sound and were happy to meet Tarzan. They escorted Weismuller and his friends to safety and even gave him a gift to show their appreciation. Meanwhile, Maureen O'Sullivan and John Farrow fell in love while making the movie Tarzan Escapes. They got married shortly after the filming ended. The stories from behind the scenes of the cast and crew make the history of this classic film even more interesting.
In the film, Tarzan doesn't make an appearance until 23 minutes into the storyline. Johnny Weissmuller, the first speaking Tarzan, passed away in January 1984, just after the last surviving silent Tarzan, James Pierce, died. Maureen O'Sullivan starred in three notable films recognized by the Library of Congress for their cultural significance Tarzan and his mate, The Thin Man and The Tall Tea. In Tarzan Escapes, Johnny Weissmuller, known for his portrayal of the titular character, faced tumult in his personal life due to his stormy marriage to Lupe Velez. Reports surfaced of their heated arguments, with the makeup man struggling to conceal bruises and marks on Weissmuller's body. He eventually left Velez after a confrontation where she confessed to killing his dog, leading him to retaliate by killing her parrot, which amusingly called him Gary. Meanwhile, Jane's costume underwent a change, with her two-piece outfit replaced by a more modest one-piece attire, though she continued to go barefoot. Additionally, in the casting credits, Cheetah the Chimpanzee was credited by herself, adding a quirky touch to the film's introduction. The film reused numerous scenes from previous Tarzan movies, such as the acacia scene, the escarpment, wild beast scene, lion shooting, and cheetah fleeing. Additionally, there were distant shots of falling men in the crocodile fight. Both actors who portrayed Rollins and Captain Fry met tragic ends in car accidents. Johnny Weissmuller, known for his role as Tarzan, made a cameo appearance alongside Maureen O'Sullivan in a later film where he famously delivered the line, Me Tarzan, you Jane. In the film Tarzan Escapes, the character Tarzan speaks Swahili, uttering phrases like Kujahapa. However, much of the Swahili used in the film is inaccurate or nonsensical. For instance, a line like Kujakwenda is a mix-up, meaning come go. Interestingly, most of these phrases are spoken by one of the main African actors, who is clearly American. The film presents a blend of authentic Swahili and fabricated phrases contributing to the portrayal of the jungle environment and its inhabitants. During the making of a film in 1936, an unfortunate accident occurred on set, causing one of the stuntmen to be severely injured while filming a dangerous jungle scene. This incident led to a pause in production as everyone rallied around the injured colleague. Despite facing various challenges like adverse weather and logistical issues while shooting in the African jungles, the cast and crew remained resilient and determined to finish the movie. Directed by Richard Thorpe, the film featured a talented cast including Johnny Weissmuller, Maureen O'Sullivan, and Johnny Sheffield. Their hard work resulted in a captivating cinematic masterpiece that continues to be enjoyed by audiences even today. The success of the movie further established Weissmuller as a Hollywood icon. Overall, the production of this film showcased the dedication and perseverance of everyone involved, ultimately creating a timeless classic loved by many. During the making of the movie, Maureen O'Sullivan, who played Jane, got badly hurt when a cheetah attacked her on set. But she kept going after getting medical help, showing how dedicated she was to the movie. The movie is about Tarzan and his life in the jungle. He's trying to keep his home safe from people who want to capture him. It's directed by Richard Thorpe and has lots of excitement and drama set in the African jungle. Even though the movie is old, it's still loved by many. It shows how much people still enjoy Tarzan stories even after a long time. The movie's action and themes like freedom and identity stick with people, making it a classic adventure film.